Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Wolverines have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. stadiums to win a college football game in. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 37. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Whitlock's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Caught out of the open. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. He makes it to the 48-yard line. The Terrapins always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Zips it to the back, and he's hit immediately. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Caught, and he's out of bounds. That's a loss. From the 39-yard line, second down. in the midst of all this mayhem. He's at the 30. And they make the stop at the 24. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. to that quickly. Tackle made right around the 20. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. He's hit and taken down. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. That makes it 33. 
You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. And now he's got room to run. Complete. It's the freshman. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. It's the 11th play of the drive. He dives and he'll be marked down. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Maryland! And he adds the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Volunteers had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. And for Tennessee, they've now dropped three in a row. And for Gates, he hit the 100-yard mark in this one. The Cardinals win it, 24-21. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. They line up to kick this one away. The Terrapins saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down to the 27-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at about the 49. Throws a laser across the middle. Tackle at the 42. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. Good play here getting a new set of downs and keeping the run an integral part of this offense. Quick pitch and he goes nowhere. Defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. That'll bring up second and 15. Second and long. Ball on the 42 yard line. Murphy on the give, and he's taken down at the 44. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Watch the run, watch the run. Hey, check by 46. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's going left. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Dumps it complete over the middle. 
And down he goes at about the seven yard line. That brings up second and one. This is the ninth play of this drive. Oh, you got deep? Hey, watch that. Watch out. Check the light 54. Light 54. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. Excellent open field tackle. First and goal, and a touchdown ties it, folks. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. Maryland's lead is a touchdown. to the action now here in the second quarter. Touchdown, Wolverines! The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT, a 10-play, 73-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Daniels has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Throws it out right to the running back. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. Henderson makes the tackle at the 30-yard line. Watch the curl. That'll Watch make the it the 35. Mike 35. Mike 35. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. Passes it to the middle of the field. Brought down right around the 36-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws this one out to the right. He's at the 40. And that's his receiver who's wide open. First down. Hey, check, check. Mike 35, Mike 35. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Third down again. He fights forward to about the 26. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Man open, incomplete. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Terrapins saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. I got you, 88. I got you. 35 is the mic. Oh! 
Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. From the 11-yard line, first down. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. Decent run up the gut. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Five yard loss on the play. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. So it's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Maryland could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Bryant fields it at the seven. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 46-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 47. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Gets to about the 47-yard line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 42-yard line, first down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Fires to his receiver, first down. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. Green nine, green nine. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings up second and nine. tries to buy some time. He's taken down to the nine-yard line. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. This isn't much more than an extra point. Michigan is down three and looking to tie it up. 
The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Daniels gets set to kick this one away. Robinson from the one. He's tackled at the 31. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Short pass, middle of the field. They'll bring him down at the 40. The Terrapins will use their first time out of the half. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Fires it out. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Three-yard loss there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Gain of 23 on the play. First down. From the 40-yard line, it's first down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He lets it fly. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. We played a half. This one's all even at 10. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Take a look at both quarterbacks in this game and neither one of them even has their pants dirty. Nobody's been on the ground here. No pressure generated by the defense, but one of the reasons is because quarterbacks have been able to get rid of the football maybe maybe a little help in the secondary to those guys trying to rush the pass the guys up front always get the blame but it really is a business that works hand in hand because I, you can get a lot of sacks off garbage sacks where it's great coverage down the field but the quarterback has to hold it for four or five seconds but it works the other way around too if somebody's open every time he pats that football and reaches the top of his drop I can't get there in time. So the, the coverage needs to tighten up a little bit, mess up the rhythm, jam the receivers maybe a little bit more. Give me a little bit of time so those big boys up front can get to the quarterback. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis would be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. Bryant fields it at the three. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He's on the run. He makes his way to about the 38. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. There's a strike complete. Tackle around the 42-yard line. First and ten. 
Ball on the 42. Makes it out to about the 33. That's a deep that makes it second and two. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. the 31-yard line. First down. Black five, black five. He scrambled. Heading for the corner. And he's taken down around the 19-yard line. with it and he's got room dives forward unbelievable they can't get this offense off the field oh, they've been like a machine on this drive very methodical and efficient and once again they're moving the chains it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. And he adds the extra point. So an eight play 73 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now 17 10 Michigan to kick. Taken from the three yard line. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll make it second and four. Defense has it. It's the linebacker. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. in this game so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments but if things don't turn around in a hurry it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line screen pass he's got his half back and he shoved out of bounds right around the 26 yard line that makes it second and eight second down eight yards to go ball on the 26 michigan is up by a touchdown red two Got some open field. And he's tackled right around the 16-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And down he goes right around the 8-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Yeah, 
gets to about the eight yard line. Third down. Man left, man left. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled at the six yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Scrambling around, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Third and goal from the 10. They'll probably look to the air here. Three down, three down. Michigan up seven points. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That brings us fourth and goal. Michigan is hoping to make this a two score game. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. Michigan's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And they make the stop at the 36. They bring him down in the backfield. And that'll bring this third quarter to a close. The Wolverines with a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. He's got an opening. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a game of seven on the way. First down. Man left, man left. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Taken back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 38. Tack on any yardage. That'll bring up third and eight. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Maybe a yard on that completion. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Johnson awaits the snap. And down he 
he goes at the 34. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled right away. From their own 47-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Green nine, green nine. Oh, yes. Gets out to around the 38. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Fights forward to about the 36. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And that was the sophomore linebacker there who was able to get in and make that tackle. Big opening. The 10. Touchdown, Wolverine. He makes the PAT. Daniels has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The Terrapins thought they had the right game plan and the right player to do it. Neither worked out for them. Yeah, I think the, the game plan and the star player came into this game with a lot of confidence. What they weren't able to really think about was how good this defense would be that they were facing today. And today, they just got completely shut down. Caught out of the open. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Just under two to go in the game. Caught with room to work. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 41. Here we go. Wide 80. Wide. Throws left. The running back's got it. That's a gain of six on the play. That makes it first and ten. Gets it out quickly. That's a great tackle at the 45-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Goes into the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. 
And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. We have less than a minute to go. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. And he's level at the 32. going to do it for this one our final score 27 to 10 Wolverine for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time